Stargate Nexus presents Joining Second Life, Downloading Firestorm Viewer, and Logging In Using a Mac, Part 1 of a Tutorial Series. This is SecondLife.com. You can look in the upper right hand corner and see the Login and Sign Up button. Due to the nature of this tutorial, we're going to go down here to the Join Free button as if we've never done this before. When you click Join Free, you'll get a new page. You fill it out, starting with your username. You'll know if your username is actually available when you get a little green check mark clicking into another box. Finish the form, review the checkbox terms before checking the checkboxes, and you'll also have to do the I'm not a robot captcha before you can click create my account. When you click create my account, it'll take you to a new page. This page shows you their premium and basic plan options. Premium is paid, basic is free. We're going to go basic. Click basic and you get a new page. This page indicates you're done with basic registration. This big blue button, download and install Second Life, is for the Second Life viewer. This tutorial is about using the Firestorm viewer, so we're actually going to do that next. It is best to get the Firestorm viewer from firestormviewer.org, which you can see here. It's the 21st century, so most of us are used to cookies and privacy policies. I just clicked OK. Here is the current Firestorm release, which we are going to download in Downloads. When you click Downloads, it asks you to choose your platform. This tutorial is about Second Life, so we will choose Second Life. When we click Second Life, we are asked now to choose our operating system, Windows, Mac, or Linux. This tutorial is about using Mac, so we're going to choose Mac. Click the Apple and you get the Mac for Second Life page. You can click the top link for basic install instructions, but we're going right to, for Second Life only, 64-bit download. We click download and we can see it's downloading. A few download moments later and we open our download. Some folks will get a security alert. I didn't because I've done this before. But if you do get stopped by a security alert questioning whether or not you want to open something downloaded not from the App Store, this is how you do it. In the upper left hand corner, we click our Apple icon. Scroll down and click System Preferences. Here we want to click Security and Privacy in the middle right side of the window. If you did get a security alert, this is where you would see the question about whether or not you actually want to open the Firestorm viewer. We do, so we're going to unlock the dock to make changes. This will be a password or fingerprint authentication. I use fingerprint. Once unlocked, you'll be able to actually click the Open Anyway button. After you click Open Anyway, it'll ask if you're really sure, and you say, yes, I am really sure. And then I recommend go ahead and relocking your dock before you continue. Now those who got the security alert are back on track with those who didn't get the security alert, and we're, we're ready, ready to open the Firestorm download. Click. If you've downloaded an application before, you know what to do from here. But if not, you'll see there is a licensing agreement, a acceptable use policy, and of course our Firestorm viewer, which we drag into our application folder. We can see our operating system doing the heavy lifting, and because I have done this before, it's asking me if I want to keep the now duplicate copies. I do for this tutorial. Now that our download is complete, we want to go to our launch pad and actually launch the Firestorm viewer. Click! This is what the Firestorm usually looks like. If you're logging in for the first time, you will have to write your username and password and then click the Remember My Username and Remember My Password checkboxes if you'd like to use those features. The red boxes are your FYIs. Firestorm Notices, Firestorm Blog, client information, and Second Life grid status. We've put in our username, our password, checked our Remember Me boxes, checked our FYI boxes, and now we're ready to click Login. And Login failed. Sorry we couldn't log you in. Please check to make sure that you have entered the right username and password. Also, please make sure your Caps Lock key is off. That wasn't our problem, so let's check one more thing. Ta-da! We never verified our email address. Let's go ahead and do that now. 
clicking the link provided to verify that our email address is connected to an actual person. This takes us back to the secondlife.com page, but instead of sign up, we are signing in with the login and password we had just created. Since I asked Mac to save my password when I created it, now I can just use my fingerprint to log in. After logging in to verify your email, you'll receive this prompt. To continue logging into Second Life, you must agree to the terms of service. Please read them carefully before continuing. There's a checkbox that, by clicking this checkbox, I confirm that I have read the terms of service and agree to abide by them. Then go ahead and click Agree. Ta-da! This page lets you know that you've finished verifying your email address, so now we're going to go back to the Firestorm viewer and log in again. As a note, it didn't actually remember my password because we never actually got logged in and I have to type it in. Click! Now we can see the login process is actually working. Yay! And now we're officially logged in to Second Life. Welcome to Second Life! Our next tutorial will be picking up right where we left off here, going through Learning Island as set out by Second Life using the Firestorm viewer on a Mac. Thanks for watching! Cheers and Namaste!